Good morning. Welcome to Bible study. Today, I'm here in our sanctuary. I'm here because there are some things in this room that help connect us and what we do at First Baptist to the Bible story that we're going to hear today. The first thing is right here, the pulpit. Do you know who uses it and what we use it for? The second thing is the baptistry. Do you know who uses it? and what we use it for. Both of these are going to connect with our Bible story. But before we hear our story today, let's remember what we've learned so far. In the week leading up to Jesus' death and resurrection, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. He went to the temple. He had special meals with friends. Jesus was arrested, put on trial, and died on a cross. A man named Joseph placed Jesus' body in a tomb. On the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. For forty days after his resurrection, Jesus met with his disciples before returning to heaven. On a day of Pentecost, the followers of Jesus were filled with the Holy Spirit. Many people joined the church. They listened to the leaders teach. They prayed, ate, and sang together. They made sure everyone's needs were met. Philip was a part of the first church. Our story begins with Philip preaching and healing people. The followers of Jesus traveled from place to place, telling everyone they met about Jesus. Philip went to the city of Samaria, where he preached and healed many people. The crowds listened eagerly. Then an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Get up and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. But Philip got up and went. While he was on the road, he came across a court official from Ethiopia who served the queen of Ethiopia in her treasury. The Ethiopian official had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home, seated in his chariot. He was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join in. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. And he asked, Do you understand what you are reading? The official replied, How can I unless someone helps me? And he invited Philip to get in his chariot and sit beside him. The prophet Isaiah had spoken about a person who was treated badly and did not get a fair trial. Even still, the person was silent and did not defend himself. He was then taken away and killed. The official asked Philip, About whom, may I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip began to speak, and starting with this scripture, he proclaimed to him the good news about Jesus. As they went along the road, they came to some water, and the official said, Look, here is water. What is to prevent me from being baptized? The official commanded the chariot to stop. He and Philip went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. As they came up out of the water, the spirit suddenly took Philip away. The official did not see him again. He joyfully went on his way. But Philip continued to travel through the region. He proclaimed the good news of Jesus to all the towns until he came to Caesarea. I wonder, I wonder how the man felt when he couldn't understand what he was reading in the scroll.
I wonder how Philip felt about being invited into the official's chariot. I wonder how the official felt when Philip helped him understand what he was reading. I wonder what Philip told the man about Jesus. I wonder what made the official want to be baptized. I wonder if you have ever read or heard something from the Bible that you didn't understand. I wonder who you would talk to if you had questions about the Bible. Now, we're going to continue to think about this story as we go back to the sanctuary and we think about things we do in our church that are similar to what happened in today's story, sharing the word of God and being baptized. So in today's story, there was a man, the Ethiopian, who was trying to read and understand the Bible, but he struggled to do that. Along came Philip, who helped tell him the stories of Scripture, to tell him about God and Jesus, and help him understand what the words from the Bible means. I wanted to share our pulpit with you today because our pulpit is a place where Mac or another minister shares the sermon each week. In, as we gather for worship, we hear a portion of scripture, a story, a verse, a psalm, and then in the service, Mac talks about that and helps us understand what it means. That's an important thing. That's important that Philip did that for the Ethiopian official, and that's important that we do that as we gather, that we read and study and understand and share the Word of God. Here I am in the baptistry. I wanted you to see this space. And here is what it looks like inside the baptistry. When someone is being baptized, they walk down those steps into the pool. Today it's empty because we're not baptizing anyone, but we fill it with water when someone is being baptized. They walk down the steps and they meet Dr. Mack, who talks with them about what it means to follow Jesus the same way that Philip did with the Ethiopian official. And just as the Ethiopian official made a decision that he wanted to follow Jesus and be baptized after he heard stories of God and Jesus from the Bible, the people at First Baptist who were baptized have also made a similar decision. And so they come into these waters and they share a confession of faith. That means they share a sentence that shares their beliefs. So they may say something like, Jesus is Lord. Or maybe they'll say more, but they use words to help say something about what they believe about God. And then, just like the Ethiopian eunuch, they are dipped under the water and they come back up and they are baptized, and they go on to live their lives for God. Thanks for coming to Bible study. We will see you again next week.